All right, ladies, we need to talk about getting left on red. Getting left on red is one of the most beautiful things. It doesn't require an argument or a conversation or long, drawn-out phone calls. The point is loud and fucking clear. This man doesn't want to talk to you, okay? He's making it very simple. If he wanted to talk to you, he'd be at your crib right now. And the biggest mistake that ladies are making is after they get ghosted or after they get left on red, they try to get this man to feel their presence. They start posting more. They start snapping him. Maybe they'll hit him with a FaceTime or send him a picture. Like, you need to just cut it off, okay? Let it go. It's not worth your time. That's a great fucking thing. Now you're not wasting your time, okay? Take it as a good thing. Getting left on red is a great thing. I love you guys. <laughs> when it comes to birth control have y'all ever heard the argument that it makes more sense to take the bullets out of a gun than to shoot at a bulletproof vest well guess what's shortly going to be available to men dr wei yin was able to purify um from a chinese herb something called tryptonide and it basically works by altering like how sperm develop it's a pill that you take daily and after a couple weeks it'll cause sperm to put their tails on backwards so they can't really swim and thus fertilize females and they found that there aren't really any side effects to it and once they stop using the pill their sperm goes back to normal and they're able to like have healthy kids and there's no issues with their fertility so men it's y'all's turn now to start taking birth control let's go Guys, I'm waiting for my blue slushie to, to be ready. I guess it takes a minute for the machine to get ready. And no, I can't have the red one. And I'm watching these three guys have conversations about one of the guys likes a girl that's in Starbucks. And he thinks she's giving him signals to go in and ask her out or ask for a number or whatever. And the guys are trying to pump him up. And one of the guys goes, well, Andrew Tate says... <laughs> If you don't know who Andrew Tate is, look him up. Try not to give him any views. But for the love of God, I don't know if I should get out of the car and help these guys out. Or if they're already quoting Andrew Tate, are they too far gone? And I should let them go back into Starbucks, make a fool of themselves in front of this girl so they don't get any girls ever? I don't know. I, I feel like it's a Star Wars moment. Can he be saved from the dark side? No, I don't, I don't think he can. Don't forget to subscribe. Only 2% of you guys are subscribed. Thanks again. Men really give compliments like, oh, you look nice. Nice. Baby, I have a degree in geometry to be able to do the wing line. I look more than nice. I need, I need descriptors. I need Shakespeare. I need, I need you to tap into the vocabulary. I need words like tantalizing. I need words like spectacular. A vision. That's not nice. What is nice? I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. <laughs> oh, babe, but it's so red. P, I'm sorry. I thought you were a fly.